In this lesson, I will tell you about use of coordinate system in AutoCAD and this is very important in understanding the basic input methods of AutoCAD drawing. So AutoCAD also follows the Cartesian and polar coordinate system. So here we have this Cartesian coordinate system in which the X axis is indicated with a horizontal red line and Y axis with a vertical green line. Now the point where both these perpendicular lines intersect is the origin which is denoted by 0 comma 0 coordinates. Now the first quadrant has x and y positive, second quadrant has x negative, y positive, third quadrant has x, y both negative and the fourth quadrant has x positive and y negative. Now let's say that we want to make a rectangle in this coordinate system. So I will start obviously with the rectangle command now. So from draw panel I'll select rectangle. Now when you look at the command line you'll notice that it is prompting me to specify the first corner point. So so far we have specified the first corner point dynamically by clicking in the drawing area but this time I'll not do that. Instead I'll select the coordinate value. So let's enter 0 comma 0 and this will tell AutoCAD to select origin of this geometry or this coordinate system for the first point of rectangle. Now press enter and you'll notice that the first point of rectangle snaps to the absolute origin. Now the command line prompts you to specify the second point. So let's enter 10 comma 5 as the second point and press enter. So let's zoom out to bring this drawing into perspective and here we have a rectangle with length 10 units and a width of 5 units. So now the point which was the second point in this case and which is this point will be of coordinates 10 comma 5. Now let's repeat this process of making a rectangle but this time I'll not select origin as the first point. Instead I'll click somewhere inside this rectangle. So let's click at this point. Now again, we don't know the first coordinate. Let's enter 10 comma 5 as the second point. And you'll notice that this time again, this rectangle snaps to the same point which it snapped for the first rectangle. But now in this case, length of rectangle is not equal to 10 units and the width is also not 5 units. So what if we want to make another rectangle in such a way that even if we don't start it from the origin, it will always make a rectangle with length equal to 10 units and width equal to 5 units whenever we enter the second coordinate. For that, we can use relative coordinate system. Now, if I select rectangle again, and this time I'll pan this drawing towards left and click at any blank area in the drawing. And now if I enter 10 comma 5 as the second point for this rectangle it will again snap back to this original point but that we don't want we want to make this rectangle with length 10 and width 5 for that type at on command line once you entered at on command line this will tell AutoCAD that the initially selected point which was this point is origin and now the origin for this geometry has shifted to that point now let's enter 10 comma 5 and press enter and you'll notice that this rectangle is of length 10 units and width 5 units and it's not snapping to the actual or the absolute 10 comma 5 rather it's using a new coordinate system which starts from this initial point just because we have added at in this geometry in a similar way we can use polar coordinates as well so let's say that we want to make a line so let's start this line from origin. So here is the origin, but this time we will use polar coordinates, not the absolute ones. So let's say that we want to make this line with length of five units and in such a way that it is inclined to an angle of 30 degrees with the positive side of X axis. So for that type five, then add the angle symbol and enter 30 and press enter and press enter again. So now here we have this line in such a way that this length is 5 units and this line is inclined to an angle of 30 degrees. But here again we have used the absolute coordinate system because I have started the line from the center. What if the line does not start from the center? In that case, 
we can again use the at symbol for relative coordinate. So let's say that this line now starts from this point. And we'll again repeat the process of entering 5 as the length, angle as 30, and I'm not using at sign. Let's see what will happen and press enter and press enter again. So obviously you'll notice that this goes back to the actual 5 angle 30 point which is this point and obviously the length of this line is not 5 units in this case. So again we need to enter at for proper values. So let's get rid of this line and go to line command again click at the same point and now this time I'll enter at then enter the length which is 5, angle 30 and press enter. And here again we have a line with length 5 units and inclined to an angle of 30 degrees with respect to positive direction of x axis. And in this case we have not clicked at the absolute origin. We have clicked at a random point and we assigned at sign to tell AutoCAD to use a relative origin. So in this way you can create in geometries using absolute as well as relative coordinates.